Gautam Adani. That's one name we bet you've heard more than any other this week. Gautam Adani was till a week ago the richest man in India, also the richest in Asia. At one point, not too long back, Adani was even the second richest person in the world. But as we speak, he's been struggling with an unprecedented crisis. While Adani's businesses have lost more than $100 billion in barely a week, Adani himself has lost around, what, $50, $57 billion in personal wealth, dropping out of the top 20 list in the richest people in the world. Adani Group is a multifaceted corporation located in India with an extensive portfolio of transport and utility infrastructure projects that spans the entire country. The company has established itself as a dominant player in the transport logistics and energy utility industries, prioritizing large-scale infrastructure development in India. As a result, the Adani Group has built a world-class portfolio of transport and utility infrastructure assets that are unmatched in India. Hindenburg Research LLC is an investment research company that specializes in activist short selling. Prior to Adani Enterprises Limited's launch of India's largest ever primary follow-on public offering to raise 200 billion rupees for capital expenditures and debt repayment, Hindenburg published a 100-page report. The group lost more than $50 billion in market value in two sessions, costing Adani himself in excess of $20 billion, or about one-fifth of his total fortune, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Prior to beginning the video, please ensure that you subscribe to our channel and enable notifications for our latest videos. Also, his group is facing one of the biggest stock market sell-offs in the history of India. I don't think this sort of a drop in just a week has been seen in a long, long time, if ever. Now, the obvious question that many of you have been asking is, how did all of this happen? What is the fine print? What lay behind all of this? Let me try and explain some of that to you. Essentially, it's a David and Goliath story. The story of a little-known firm taking on one of the richest and most powerful men in the world. This firm has accused Adani of market manipulation. Its name is Hindenburg Research. Hindenburg, well, it's a small New York-based research and trading firm founded by a rather well-known by now short seller named Nathan Anderson. Neither man nor his company has been particularly well known until recently, except when they started coming out and taking down a large number of companies. Nikola was one of its most recent scalps. Now, before I go any further, I think I should tell you what exactly is short selling. But normally, you buy shares in a company hoping that it's going to go up. A short seller sells shares or bonds in the hope that their prices will go down. Uh, there are all sorts of technicalities and how this can actually be done, which I'm not going to weary you with right now. So the long and the short of it is that Hindenburg Research took short positions on the Adani Group, or to be more specific, short positions in some of the bonds of the Adani Group, betting that their prices will essentially go down. In April 2021, Adani Group crossed U.S. $100 billion in market capitalization, and in April 2022, it crossed the $200 billion mark, in both cases becoming the third Indian conglomerate to do so, after Tata Group and Reliance Industries. In November 2022, it reached $280 billion, 24 trillion Indian rupees, surpassing Tata Group. Adani subsequently lost more than $104 billion of market capitalization after fraud and market manipulation allegations by short seller firm Hindenburg Research. The Adani Group has also attracted other controversies due to various reports of irregular practices. More than 60% of the Adani Group's revenue is derived from coal-related businesses. The company's corporate debt totaled $30 billion in 2022. Let's just take a look at a couple of examples. This, for example, is Adani Enterprise. By November 2022, that is what had happened. Look at where the shock, shock price was just three, four, five years ago, even a couple of years ago, and then it was 4,000 uh, rupees, give or take, in November 2022. And this is a pattern that you will see in Adani share after Adani share. If you look at all of these companies, in the last two years, they have seen a massive rise in their prices. And then, after the Hindenburg research is out, that has all suddenly come crashing down. It's still not come all the way down to where the companies were just a couple of years ago. So let's remember that. Even after this carnage we've seen, most Adani Group companies are still substantially higher than where they were even in 2019 or 2020. Mark Matthews, head of research at Julius Baer, says, 
Short sellers make money by screening the vast universes of securities and trying to find anomalies in the financial statements of various companies and then highlighting those after they have gone short on the securities in some way or another. Let's take a look at their perspective on the situation with the Adani Group. Well, on the one hand, I'm glad these sorts of uh, short selling research houses exist because um, they do uh, uh, write negative research, which uh, the investment banks are, are usually very reluctant to do. But on the other hand, um, they can uh, create sort of witch hunts and uh, panic situations. Um, and I think we're in a little bit like one of those now. The market uh, has clearly panicked and every, everything in India seems to be guilty until proven innocent. And uh, I actually think that presents many opportunities. Uh, they seem to be uh, being taken advantage of now. I'm looking at the price action. A lot of things are rebounding. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I think it'll prove uh, to be a storm in a teacup longer term. According to renowned market analyst Himendra Hazari, the recent decline in Adani's share price was unexpected and quite dramatic. However, he notes that the market had already recognized the company's significant valuation growth as being unsustainable. He also discussed the stock market's decline. Let's listen to what he had to say. One must bear in mind that the increase in the Adani Group share price list in the last two years has been spectacular. On average, I think they've increased by about 819%. Uh, so if one assumes that the normal price was before it started its rise, then uh, we, know, we really don't know where the bottom and where the normalized price range should be. Because it has to be remembered that the Adani group, which are listed, they have very limited floating stock. Indeed, one of the objectives of the follow-on public issue was to broaden the investor base and to get retail investors in. So when the rise has been so spectacular, uh, you know, the fall can also be equally spectacular. So that is what uh, has to be considered by investors before they take a decision whether to buy or to sell the stock. The sudden and significant drop in Adana Group's stock prices is leading to concerns regarding the ability of their companies to meet their expenses in the future, given their substantial debt burden. Please share your thoughts on this matter in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more informative videos. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next video.